<laughs> Wanna know how I got this smile? It was made by Wexter on his YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe to him. You won't regret it. Well hello there people of the internet, I'm Manicrafter and in today's video I'll show you how I prepped and painted this lovely Joker 3D printed bust that was made by Vedran Marjanovic that goes by the name of Wexter here on YouTube. If you want to download and print one for yourself, the print is available over on my mini factory, the link is listed down below in the description box. First of all, let me explain something. When this model was being printed, the chin could not be printed out. The problem was with the support structures. It was too thin for the model that was this size and basically custom support structures needed to be sculpted. But that didn't seem to be the problem for me actually, because I've used a sort of a putty that I made to sculpt his chin. The putty is made out of a combination of wood glue, cornstarch and some black acrylic paint just to give it that differentiating color. When that putty was dry I went outside and coated the whole model with three layers of plastic acrylic primer. But since I wasn't completely satisfied with the chin it was uh, too tiny, I redid the sculpt with the same putty mixture and basically all that was left to do is to cover it with grey acrylic color just to give me a bit more depth to see the details better and go live on my Twitch. If by any means you want to follow up on my current projects, go and follow me on twitch.tv slash manucraft. So that's the explanation of before. Now it's time to do some painting. Let's get to it, shall we? The whole model got painted grey so I would see better what I'm doing. And then it's all the matter of separating the major parts of the model into primal color groups. First off, white for the face and flower, green for the hair, bow tie and eyebrows, purple for the suit, yellow for the shirt and red for the mouth. Every painted part had a wash of the darker shade of the same color, with an exception of yellow. Those parts I washed with some diluted burnt sienna, just to make the details pop out a bit more. I've used a black wash to cover those shadowy parts of the face, just to give it more depth, because I wasn't quite satisfied how it looked in the distance. Places like under the chin, behind the ears, and most importantly, the lines on his face. This made his grin stand out quite substantial. And of course, for the teeth I've used a grey liner marker. And then I washed it again with a grey wash. Well, the suit needed some adjustments, so I added a bit of that black wash into the seam lines. This made it look a little bit more realistic. I wanted to add a bit of texture to the suit, so I used an old brush and stippled on a lighter shade of purple and then washed it with a darker purple shade. Next step is highlighting everything. I do this in a couple of passes, starting with the same shade of that color that I've used before the wash and each time going a bit lighter. All that is now left is the details like eyes and buttons. Moving on to the base itself, I painted it black and let it dry for quite some time. Now I took crimson red color, undiluted and put it into those haha <laughs> crevices. And with a damp towel I removed the excess paint, this made that red color. Now it was all the matter of dry brushing those same base parts with a black color. And that's basically it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. Also subscribe to Wexter. As I said, if you want to follow up on my current projects, like why is my table behind so messy, go ahead and follow me on Twitch. All the links are listed below, like this video. Tell me in the comments what do you think of this and I'll see you next time. Bye!